Good morning, folks. We have two space news articles to cover today, another mystery, and one on a type of micronova event. But we'll start with our star, where activity remains low, but potential remains high. Like a warrior meditating in a garden. We've got a couple sunspots and a number of plasma filaments, all presenting eruption threats, but are stoic for now. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are quiet, and we're watching these filaments for any sign of destabilization and eruption. There are several big ones facing Earth today. At enormously powerful and compact magnetic stars, the detail of the interactions going on nearby are extremely difficult to understand, especially when their rules of astronomy are broken. The Eddington Limit details how bright an object of a certain mass should be, at least in theory, but several stars break that limit and now they're thinking that's due to the powerful magnetic fields shaping the nearby interactions. Some of these stars break the limit by up to 500 times and in this new hypothesis we take a step further into the magnetic universe where the fields are ultimately dominant. Up next, it's a study of several dust production event stars. Some of these have many shell releases every few hundred days, and they are spherical ejections of dust outward in all directions. This is likely what happened to Betelgeuse, by the way. There are even more micro forms of nova events than we expect on the sun when the sun goes micronova, but alas, we do expect that one produces copious amounts of dust all of them do. Whether it is the equatorial ejection we saw a couple days ago or the star-wide burst outward, these dust productions come in all kinds of nova events, big and small. In the case of the ones where they go off every few hundred days, those ones almost certainly are stealing material from a binary star in order to have enough material accumulated to go off so often. In the case of several others which don't have a close-in binary or the ones where the star is clearly a single star, the time frame for those nova events is much longer, as is the case in our solar system. Again, micronova might not be the name given to all of the little ones, dust production events, transient luminous events, dwarf nova, but in terms of the size class, there are certainly many smaller stellar nova in the universe. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got eyes on the plasma filaments. Check out the links below the video. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.